All right, this is a bronchogenic cyst. These are quite rare, at least in my experience. And you can see this is a cyst that's got kind of a simple lining from low power, and there's a thick layer of smooth muscle around it, which is a relatively, um, that, that's often the case, there's smooth muscle around them. And when you go closer and look at the lining, you can see that this is like respiratory epithelium. It is pseudo-stratified, ciliated, columnar uh, epithelium. And you can see the uh, cilia on the surface here. Let's see if I can get it in focus a little more. Sometimes it's hard to pick those things up on, um, on low uh, or up, on, on scanned um, slides. So that's a pretty nice example um, of a relatively rare entity. And there's a closer look at the uh, cilia on the surface. Really nice. Um, but in addition to having a pseudostratified ciliated lining, sometimes it's more cuboidal, sometimes more columnar. And about half of cases have uh, mucin-filled goblet cells. And I think that's probably what we're seeing here, although it's not totally clear on the scan. But uh, finding goblet cells feature in about half of cases. Let's take one more look over here at the cilia. And then again, the uh, smooth muscle uh, lining around the cyst here. So bronchogenic cysts, and again, these are often in the precordium, the area in the chest uh, near or over the heart, and also the uh, near the sternal notch uh, is the sites where these uh, typically arise.